A database model is a database software framework. Examples include network and hierarchical models, which were invented in the 60s and relied on speed and storage, such as IMS or IDMS. There's relational, which was invented in the 80s for transactional applications, and this became the most popular ones because it was a lot faster. And examples include MySQL, Oracle, and DB2. And then there's NoSQL, which was invented in the 2000s for big data analytic applications. And popular versions of NoSQL databases include Cassandra, Redis, and MongoDB. The relational model organizes data, has operations to update data, and rules to protect or govern your data. And it's based on some math concepts, such as the domain, which is a data type or set of possible values used to model data such as integers or logical values like true and false or dictionary words, tuples, which are single rows of a table, which contain single records for that relation, relation, which is a table or set of tuples from the same sequence of domains, and attribute, which is a column or each tuple position, which has a unique name within the relation. Relational algebra is the set of operations on tables, which are based on set theory as the theoretical foundation of the SQL language. Relational operations include select, which selects a subset of rows from a table, project or projection, which removes one or more columns from a table, product, which lists all possible combinations of rows between two tables, join, which is basically a product operation followed by a select operation. There's union, which combines two tables by selecting all the rows from both tables. Intersect, which combines two tables by selecting only rows common in both tables. And Difference, which combines two tables by selecting rows that appear in only one of the tables. So if you had a SQL statement like select name from students where the exam score is greater than or equal to 90, that'll return a result set of all student names that got 90 or more on their exam scores. And the result of relational operations is another table. And in the case of the SQL statement, it's a table as well. The table of results is not stored in the database. Understanding the mathematics of these operations is not necessary, but it's interesting. And as a database developer, it's more useful to understand just the SQL statements. There are rules that relational databases need to follow to make sure that your data is valid. For example, relational rules, also called integrity rules, are logical constraints that make sure that the data is valid. Structural rules, which are relational rules that govern relational database data. An example of that is like, like a primary key, which is a unique value with no duplicates in the column. Column names, where different column names in the same table should have unique names and should not have duplicate rows in your table. And we'll learn more about that when we talk about normalization. There's also business rules that are relational rules specified in SQL and specific to particular database and application. Example business rules include column values. So in a particular column, the values should be unique and not repeated. Um, no missing values. All the rows in each column must have a value. And delete cascade is, which means that when a row is deleted, all the related rows should also be deleted. And all these rules are automatically enforced by the data space system that you're using. So you shouldn't have to worry about it too much. Just know that that they're there and it's happening for you automatically.